Hi everyone, it's John, uh, back in the kitchen. Uh, today's not so uh, nice as far as the weather is concerned. It's a little cold, a little dreary, uh, but it is Easter. So what better time to uh, cook something really, really hearty and you know something that'll uh, you know warm up uh, the inside, so to speak. So today I will be attempting one of my favorite dishes, Hawaiian oxtail soup. So the ingredients for this dish is number one, oxtails, obviously. Um, you know the other ingredients are cilantro. Uh, we also have some shiitake mushrooms for this dish, some peanuts, some uh, orange peel or orange zest, uh, onions, and uh, uh, some salt and pepper. Um, but you know it's a very very simple, again, uh, but hearty dish. So uh, this is going to take us uh, about two to three hours to cook uh, because we have to boil it. But I'm doing the, the first part of this is uh, I am boiling and I'm going to parboil, P-A-R, parboil the oxtails right now. So what that does is, you know, um, it cleanses the meat. Um, so we're going to boil it first for 30 minutes, uh, clean it up and then boil it in the actual uh, soup base. So for this recipe, I have uh, two packs of uh, frozen oxtails. So the first step is to boil and clean off as much of um, you know the the meat residue, and that's what we're doing right now. So what we're going to do is when this comes to a boil, we'll let it boil for 30 minutes, and then um, dump the water and uh, dump and, and and clean the meat. Okay, so I think we're done boiling the oxtails. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take them out. So I gave this about 30 minutes to uh, to boil. Um, as you can see, it kind of got you know the water kind of got creamy, and it's with all the you know, the scum you know and all that stuff that uh, that you don't want in your soup. So I'm just gonna take these out. So after you clean your pot, just return the oxtails back in there and we're just gonna you know fill this with water uh, just to cover the meat and then we're gonna boil it and then simmer it for uh, about an hour hour and a half let that come to a boil while you're waiting for this to boil you can uh, uh, prepare all the ingredients that will go into this uh, this next phase of the boiling process. So the next step to make our uh, oxtail soup is to put in the first, I like, guess, set of aromatics. So those are going to be uh, the star anise. So you need two of them. Uh, you would also need, you know, a pretty big size of ginger right here. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna slice this like so. And then we also need a uh, orange zest. So just you know, zest a, an orange. You gotta get a, get your peeler. I'm gonna keep it kind of big. So later on, when I'm done with the dish, I can readily take it out. So this all goes into the boiling pot with the rest of the oxtails. So just a tip: if you want more flavor out of your orange zest. Um, and if you have time, I would suggest you dry these, like a few days, dry the orange zest. And if you do not have time, what you can do is you can throw this in your uh, oven or your uh, toaster oven and just dry it up that way. So what, that's what I'm going to do right now, just kind of warm it up and then uh, and put it in the oven for a few minutes and then throw it into the boiling liquid. So now that we have our uh, oxtail boiling again, we can throw in our orange peel that we've dried up. Also our star anise. And then our ah, ginger. There you go. We're also gonna add in uh, some salt right now, about a teaspoon uh, full of salt. And this according to your taste. So. There you go, not too much right now. We can adjust later on. 
and I'm also going to throw in a little bit of uh, black pepper. We're going to let this boil for about an hour and a half and uh, we'll come back. So this has been simmering for about an hour, another hour, right? And uh, I can see that the uh, it's coming along. So at this point we're going to be adding the second part of our uh, ingredients, which is some peanuts. The best peanuts to use are raw peanuts, but if you don't have raw peanuts, you can use roasted uh, peanuts or dry roasted peanuts, uh, like the ones that come in jars. So I decided to add a little bit more peanuts. Uh, here I have some uh, dry roasted peanuts. It's this, uh, the peanuts here are more for aroma, but you can eat them obviously because they're they're part of the dish. So this is gonna go for another, you know, hour and a half, and then we should have uh, our oxtail soup ready for the final garnishes and final ingredients. We'll be right back. So guys, after. So guys, after three and a half hours or so, we got the oxtails um, tenderized. Now I've added the shiitake mushrooms and also the bok choy in there, and we're getting ready to eat. So it does, you know, it does take a while to finish off this dish, but you really have to, you know, as it starts to cook and starts to develop, you have to continually adjust for the taste, saltiness, that sort of thing. But I think we got the we got the um, uh, the taste right, so we're ready to eat. It's slowly coming back, guys. It's been had Hawaiian oxtail soup in a while. I think I came close. Guys, I hope um, you can recreate this for yourselves. I'm enjoying it. If you have any questions, drop it down below in the comment section. I'll try to answer it. But uh, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Till next time, and until the next dish that I try to recreate, this is John. Peace. Enjoying my soup. We are.